this is what I call blue. But what if this is what you call blue? What if this is what I see and this is what you see? Yeah, we would both agree that the sky is blue and that the grass is green. So how do we know we all see the same colors? First, what we call color is just light. Electromagnetic waves bouncing off objects. Blue light, for example, has a wavelength of about 450 to 495 nanometers. When light enters your eye, it's detected by three types of cone cells. S cones, which are most sensitive to short wavelength, like blue. M cones, sensitive to medium wavelength, so green. And L cones, to long wavelength, red. Your brain compares how much each type of cone is activated and then constructs a color experience. Now it's possible that my brain's blue experience could feel to me the way your brain's green experience feels to you. As long as our cones detect the same wavelength and we've both learned to label it as blue, no test could ever prove our experiences match or don't. That's called the inverted spectrum thought experiment. Now even if we assume we're seeing the same blue, small variations in cone sensitivity, eye structure, or even neural processing mean that your blue might be just a little brighter, duller, or shifted compared to mine. Philosophers call these private subjective experiences qualia, and the thought experiment doesn't just apply to color. How do you feel the sting of something sharp, sunlight, or even the taste of chocolate? My sadness might feel nothing like yours, and there's no way we'll ever know.